Hey guys, this is Catherine from Crafty Orange Mouse and today I'm going to show you how to use my SVG files with the Cricut Design Space. So I want to show you the version that can be used with the scoring tool. So there is some preparation to be done uh, to be able to score the, the fold lines and that the lines will not be cut. So that's why I'm going to show you this version Okay, first of all, you need to open your Cricut Design Space and then click right on top here on New Project. And then here on the left side, you have to click on Upload and then on Upload Image. So then you are asked to select the file and you click on Browse. And there you have to look for the location where you put your file at. You download the zip file and unpack it. And then you have to look for the location where you saved it. And then you pick the, the folder um, SVG. And you will find two versions of the design. And I want to show you today the version with the score lines. So please uh, pick this one. Click on open. And then here on the right side to upload. Then you have it in your recent uploads and you select that file and click to add to canvas. So then we have the design right here on our canvas. And the first thing I would like you to check is the dimensions of the file. So I design my uh, files in a way that it can be cut on uh, an A4 paper or on an US letter paper. So if you have a look at the zipped files or the unzipped files, um, you can find an instruction here, an instruction PDF. And if you have a look at that, there is a page added that um, tells you the right dimensions of that gray checkbox. So if you have the right size of the checkbox, the complete design will be scaled in the right way. And then let's see, we have uh, 330 millimeters to 205 millimeters. So let's have a look if that's already okay. So you can see up here or here that the size is already okay. If it would be not okay, you have to click on that little lock to make sure that um, the scaling is in the right um, proportion. So please check that, that the lock is locked and then you can just um, type in the right dimensions and everything will be scaled to the right dimensions. Okay, so then the next step to go on with the score lines, uh, you need to ungroup all the elements. So click here on ungroup and then you can delete the gray checkbox so we don't need that anymore. So click here on hide or also you can also delete it, that's no problem. Then um, we have a look again at the instructions. And there is a page um, telling you which lines shall be scored. So we have this one up here and, and that one here. The red lines. And we will do that here. So we have to pick the design and say again ungroup. And then we have to select only the lines that need to be scored. And then we go up here to the operation, drop down menu and say score. So you see that uh, the design of the lines changed. And now we have to select both the score lines and the design. And then click on the button attach on the right bottom side here. Okay, so we have to do it with the second one here. Also same procedure, just click on ungroup 
and then select the score lines so they are already grouped together that score lines and then go again here to preferences set to score select both and click on attach so and that's it so you can prepare your file for the cut and the scoring just as you're used to and I hope you enjoy working with my files if there are any questions just leave me a message and thanks for watching <laughs>